This is the Nebula Mars 3 Air, a portable projector with two and a half hours of battery life that's able to project up to a 150 inch screen. It's a 1080p projector, which gives varying results depending on the situation you're in. So obviously in brightly lit rooms, it's not quite as good. And if you make it massive, then your experience will vary. But as you can see, it's pretty portable and compact. And if you put the screen into a small form factor, you'll find it looks pretty nice. I'm going to show you a variety of different shots in different locations and in different lighting conditions and talk about my experiences with the projector. Now you'll notice that you can also plug in cables and it is tripod mountable, although I did have some issues with the tripod that I'll get to a little bit later. I would recommend using a tripod because obviously that allows you to put it in the right position and to keep it stable and ensure you have a good display there. It also supports HDMI and has USB and auxiliary inputs and naturally you can plug it in as well so it will keep going on charge without any problems. Now you can format the screen onto a nice wall and you can see these shots are in broad daylight. You're projecting the screen onto a wall, you can also then adjust the corners of the screen. So if you find that it's slightly wonky or not in the right position, you can manually adjust it with the remote control and tweak the settings, putting each of the corners into the right place to give you a good view. You can see it above my sofa here, give you an idea how big it gets, but it's showing it in a variety of different locations just to demo what it's like. Most of these are in the middle of the day in broad daylight with the curtains open and you can see the screen still pretty visible. The remote control gives you access to a variety of different things through Google TV. So you can use it with Netflix, Prime and Disney Plus, for example, and then also YouTube as well. So you have a variety of different options to choose from in terms of the content you're watching. And it actually packs in a pretty hefty speaker setup as well. I'll leave the specs in the description, but I was really impressed by how loud this thing goes. With Bluetooth connectivity, it can also be used as a Bluetooth speaker as an alternative to a projector. And if you use it in that mode without projecting, you can also get more battery life out of it as well. Now, if you close the curtains or if you've got blackout blinds and you can make your room a lot darker, the screen picture becomes a lot nicer. It's much more impressive. If you stretch it out to 150 inches and make it really massive, then that does degrade the quality because it is a 1080p projector. So the bigger the screen, the worse it looks. So it doesn't compare with like a 150 inch TV, for example, that was like 8K, so a higher resolution display. But for the price, you're getting a portable projector, which is pretty decent and can be used in a variety of different rooms and lighting conditions. I found it good enough to work during the day without having to worry. Although if you do want the best experience, you do need to shut the blinds, as you'd expect. You also need a smooth surface to make the most of it. But I found I was just using it on walls around my house and the picture quality out of it, as you can see, is pretty good. Now, I'm probably not doing it justice on camera and I wouldn't like to try and do the speakers justice either because they are better in reality than you'd expect. I was really impressed by it. Now, you can also plug in an HDMI cable and use other devices, one of which I decided would be a PC because I thought that would be a logical test as well. So I plugged it into the gaming PC and then I put my tripod on the floor and pointed the thing at the ceiling. Now you can adjust through various different settings where it will automatically recognize the angle it's pointed at, but you can get it to cast onto your ceiling or onto the wall and you can go through various settings in there and tweak it. And I actually found that it was good enough for gaming. So again, this is 1080p gaming on a display that you can potentially make a bit bigger. So if you find that you've got limited room for a gaming monitor or even for a TV, but you do have a big space on your wall or on your ceiling as an alternative, then you can project onto it. Now, the size of the screen depends on how far the projector is away from the wall. So you do need to take in account for that because obviously you've got to put the projector in a position far enough away that will give you a big enough display if you're making the most of the screen. But I think there's a good balance there because obviously the best experience isn't necessarily at 150 inches. It is actually a bit closer and making it a bit smaller. Now, the price might be one gripe for some people because it is pretty expensive and I'll leave links in the description so you can find out how much it is in your region. The other problem I had that's worth bearing in mind is with the tripod mount. So this is a standard camera mount that I've been using for quite some time. And what I found is the attachment that screws into the bottom in the standard thread, so it does have a standard tripod thread on the bottom. What I found is it was really difficult to put this in the position where it was actually secured properly. 
Now, this obviously isn't an official tripod for this projector. It's a camera tripod. But what I found is it was really loose in the bottom because of the design and shape of it down there. So you'll see it sticks out a little bit, has a bit of a curve to it. So I just couldn't get this flat and completely stable. Now, it's not a problem if you're putting it on the tripod and then leaving it alone. But if the tripod is likely to get moved or knocked, that could be an issue that will disrupt your viewing. Otherwise, a really nice bit of kit for the money and a very impressive device, especially the speakers and the display in low lighting conditions. Thanks for watching.